for for hours, man. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna move on because I see it's it's getting a little late. And I have a few more questions I, I, I want to ask if uh, the next one is if you guys were going to be rich, but you had to work, you know, some type of job, what would it be? Ooh, what kind of <laughs> business. That's a good question. Uh, I guess like something to do with like a professional sports team or something, I guess like a, a GM or, or something of a, a football or a hockey team. <laughs> oh, okay i like that i yeah. like that what about you rob honestly i i like my current job i believe it like i i don't think i would change it's all i know it's i'm good at it i like doing it so um i, I i'm an engineer I, I would stay as an engineer it's something that even if i had all the money if i had to continue doing something as a job i would do that okay very cool are you guys into sports and you mentioned joe you mentioned hockey and whatnot yeah what's your favorite sport hockey Hockey, yeah. What teams? Uh, I'm a I'm a Flyers fan. Oh, not, what? not too not too hot this year, but uh, yeah, I've been a Flyers fan since like uh, I guess the ni- the early '90s with the Legion of Doom there. <laughs> oh snap! And what about you, Rob? Yeah, um, hockey is my favorite sport, and yes, I am I am a Leaf fan, so I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for that uh, for that glory. This year they got a chance. This year, yeah. So Man. I'm I'm waiting for that. What the uh, Soccer's pretty cool too. It's in North America. It's starting to starting to pick up a little for bit. Sure. We're both those sure. guys, yeah. So, uh, Rob, what's your favorite food? Steak, straight steak. steak. I, I think I can eat steak every day if I had to. I just, medium I just love. How do you like it done? Medium, medium. That's it. You got to have it a little bit. You got to have it a little, a little bit. Red. So, all yeah. right. And Joe, something you can eat every day, or I can eat every day, like. Probably a pizza, and uh, if it's something to pig out on once in a while, you got to go with the chicken wings sauced up. Oh, man, <laughs> sauced up, chicken wings. Yeah. All right, yeah, man, for sure. What about snacks, man? What's your favorite snack? Like, you're, you know. Uh, I don't know if you guys have them there. You have, do you have all-dressed chips? No. No, yeah, you got you to gotta get a bag of all-dressed chips. Ruffles. That's it's my strange. favorite. Do you know what that is? What is it? All-dressed is the flavor it's chips it's like potato chips i think, I think i've seen it in the store but i didn't grab it I've it might be it, it might be a canadian thing that they sometimes i think they bring it to the states occasionally if you ever see it pick it up you'll like it all right and you rob just a nice gelato nice ice cream is my favorite snack by far <laughs> <laughs> very nice yeah gelato man caramel in there i love it too mm. yeah uh, all right so favorite places to go visit give me three each uh we'll go with joe first like uh cities or like yeah yeah uh, vacation whether you, or not you've been there or not doesn't matter okay uh well i'm a cali boy it's got the <laughs> the little hang loose right um the shock of there so i go to cali like quite often actually before all this it was like yearly um i've been to hawaii i'd go back and enjoyed that it's I, i'm i'm close to home type of guy i mean uh so if, if i had one in there overseas i'd go back to the homeland Check out Italy, maybe the Amalfi Coast. Those are my three. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I love that. And uh, Rob? Yeah, I think top three, definitely. We got we to gotta put New York in there. I had a great time when I went. Um, <laughs> L.A. for sure. My fiance loves California. So, I, you know, they got everything there. We drove the coast. It's beautiful. And um, yeah, I would agree with them. Italy has to be the next spot after that. So. Caribbean, I, I left would be maybe somewhere in the Caribbean as, as the fourth, I, you know, Aruba, Cuba, something like that. Just something nice, relaxing time. But that's it. Yeah, man. Um, my, my wife and I, we went to Aruba. Very nice, man. Um, I recommend the Marriott, man. It was it was cool. It was a nice, yeah. like a young atmosphere, DJ all the time. Like at the <laughs> pool, man, it was chill. It was chill. So if you go to Aruba, look, look that one up. They have their own private island and all that it's, it's oh, cool. nice. take a little boat to it it's cool it's cool nice so um all right so what what about favorite music what kind of music are you guys into i'm not too picky actually i'm like top 40 like put, put whatever's on the radio at the time like i can at weekend i'm into like that, that type of stuff lately uh, that kind of vibe but realistically like if it's if it's hot if it vibes with me then that's that's good enough <laughs> all right cool what about you yeah. rob I think EDM probably is the top for me. I, I'm top 40 guy too as well, but uh, anytime you got anything like any kind of EDM music or really, you know, 
Classic yeah, hero. <laughs> classic, classic hero I love as well. <laughs> Tiesto type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Day to day though, I'm I'm top forty mostly. I'm just on Spotify, right? Running yeah. to the top hits and the workouts there, whatever. So have you gone to any of those music festivals? Yeah, I've I've been to them before. I don't think I would go anymore. Um not really, you know, my type of crowd anymore, but uh when I was younger I did go to uh to a few. Yeah, man, I, I know. I'm I'm the same way, man. I, I yeah. don't know. I, I, Funny I how we evolved though, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Priorities. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, now I'm like on the weekends, man, I just stay home. Uh, if if um my wife wants to just have like a date night, we're like, all right, we're gonna go have dinner and maybe go see a movie and then we, we come home and that's I mean I mean, back in the days before kids, man, it was like, all right, we're going to the club. We're doing this. <laughs> man, I'm not about that, man. Yeah. So, okay. All right. So this is uh, my, my favorite question uh, I always ask is, all right, so we're going to jump into the DeLorean, throw on the flux capacitor. We're going to go travel in time, three, time, three different time periods. One, before you were born. All right. So we're going to go. So to any time before you were born to go experience something, see something, something during your life already to re-experience or, or something you missed out on and then something you anticipate in the future. So before, during and future, uh, we can go with Rob first. That's a tough question. <laughs> it's a lot Prob to follow. <laughs> probably I would consider going back to the 60s. Um, it was just a completely different time. and you know, looking at my grandparents and probably a simpler time, like I'd be interested just to see their lifestyle. Like, obviously they can tell you about their lifestyle, but it seemed much more of a, you know, family oriented, um, very close knit type of, uh, type of lifestyle. You really weren't able to like today, you couldn't really communicate the same way and, and be connected the same way. So you really were closed in terms of your your group of people and it, it'd just be interested just to see some of the communities around here in the city as well how they were during that time period so you said if i can go back in time like now like during my lifetime where, where's the next spot to go yeah yeah during your life so 60s <laughs> and then now something during your life i wouldn't i wouldn't mind going back to like the late 1990s you know, I was, I remember it. So if, if I was, uh, if I'm older, I would experience it differently. So that'd be kind of cool just to see, just to see it from kind of like a bird's eye view in that sense. Um, and then in the future, well, I love, I love the space. So if I had to go to the future and they say where it's in the near future, I wouldn't mind seeing when, when, uh, you know, with Elon Musk and everything with the space travel, I wouldn't mind seeing when they can finally bring people to another planet and if i don't know if you're into spacex or anything like that but they claim they're they're really way closer and we probably will see it in our lifetime but we'll find out yeah man i love it i love it what about you joe okay i thought i had more time to think about this Rob. so <laughs> <laughs> so to go back in time might be the only chance i get you know go back to 1975 Watch my Philadelphia Flyers lift the Stanley Cup. That's a good one. <laughs> Be in the building. That's a good one. Bobby Clark on the ice. Hey, I said the 60s. I said yeah, the yeah. 60s. You're close so. to the Leafs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, need to make sure I see that at least once. So you get the you get the time machine. That's going back in, in time. If I'm going to go back during my lifetime, um, I think a lot of us might want to go back to November 2019. <laughs> before all of this, <laughs> when uh, we didn't have to walk around with masks. And uh, you can live your life normally and know what was coming and uh, maybe do a little bit more, you know, right before. Yeah, man. Hey, Joe's, and, well, Joe's in Florida, though, so he has a little bit more flexibility, no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. open. <laughs> <laughs> we're, open. <laughs> we're, we're locked down. So. But, uh, and then the future, uh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing how this whole uh, metaverse plays out uh, in maybe not in the near future, but maybe like give me like 10, 15 years and see how, how things are going. This way I can come back to now and invest in the right things <laughs> yeah yeah so you would biff them. you would definitely go ahead go see what, what's gone yeah. up most in value 100 percent. trying to do a biff exactly <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it um 
for sure. I, strange. I love the fact that, you know, you know, that a lot of people say that, you know, like we're, we're going to get ahead and, <laughs> go yep. and, re and reinvest in yep. what went you crazy. Notice, you notice I got a term now, right? Yeah, you're doing the bet. I'm going to bet for <laughs> yeah man strange came up with that term man the nice from, from back to the future um very cool man i i love it i love the the, the answers man it's definitely my my favorite question uh that, that not we mine <laughs> my favorite question is coming up next uh, let's go let's go let's go with it strange no i want you to ask it i love just hearing you ask it you know what it is <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? Yes. That's the question. <laughs> let's go with let's go with Joe first. Joe uh, first on the hot seat. Do you believe is it is it alien like a, a little uh, green guy or is it anything that lives outside of the earth? Outside of earth, other it, dimension. Hundred percent. Hundred percent it exists. It, it has to. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. We went, he look, we got it on record, Joe from yeah. superstar money is saying a hundred percent hundred percent okay so you you would put that r2d2 on that you yeah sure no problem there's a planet somewhere outside the milky way someone something maybe it doesn't live with the same breathing or heart or whatever but there's moving things that can identify and, and connect for sure i love it i love yeah. it and, and Rob, what, what do you say? I'm, I'm going to take a little bit more of a long-winded answer with this. So uh, <laughs> You thought about this before. <laughs> so, so I had a chance to think about it. I've, I've talked about this before. People vote. Actually, I think just last week, by the way, NASA was talking about how they think they found like fundamental organic material on Mars, which would doesn't prove it, but it um, it definitely, if it was here on Earth, would mean that there was some kind of micro- you know microbes that were were able to live there at one point in time and they know that there were some old oceans there and then usually if there's water then there's the belief that that life can live but anyways they talk about entropy you ever heard of entropy before in science you guys know what that is it's like the belief that naturally the space always wants to expand mm -hmm. everything naturally wants to expand become yeah, disorganized expanding. right yeah. and, and everything naturally just wants to become disorganized constantly that's that's the balance so i told you to be a long-winded answer but so it, when you think about that life is like a is is it is not is an outlier it's an organ it's something that's organized it's something that is extremely extremely different than what we know in science which is everything naturally wants to expand now i'm 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 not an expert in this at all but when you think about it like that life shouldn't exist but right. we do we do we so to. right so we is it possible to. yeah is it possible i think the answer is yes it's possible is it probable i mean i don't know like like I, a part of me believes it, it can definitely be there but a part of me and i think until we we have the evidence we can only speculate and i know there's lots of people with sightings i think the u.s just sent all sorts of undisclosed like you know ufo uh videos <laughs> yeah. of unnatural propelling so what would, you know what would qualify as evidence to you i think that you would have to have either externally they have to have imagery in space of like another city or you have to have here on earth something that isn't from here that is organic and uh they, there's obviously claims but i've never seen it so I've, i haven't personally seen it strange, right? i know, you know that i'm sorry to cut you off rob go ahead go ahead so strange that video that you sent me and i, I finished watching it and earlier today and and then the next video that came up on it uh they were talking about a book uh, uh, that in the book it actually has pictures from the 1960s where um it it, it shows like a like mining rigs on the moon <laughs> and uh it, it's it, it's interesting if i find it i'll send it your way i'll i'll, I'll uh, send you a dm so you know, you guys can uh, take a look at that. It's interesting. No, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have. That's, to that's have a fun question, problems. though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I have like these problems on my channel once I get it going. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be touching all the type of outer realms and different things <laughs> and metaphysical concepts. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I, all I like that question, strange, though. Man, all things strange. So look out, man! It's coming soon. <laughs> oh, nice. Good name. <laughs> yeah, I, I like, like it. it. So, sure. all right, um, all right. So let's go with. The, something embarrassing that's happened to you 
that you're willing to share. Um, mm. Who, uh, Joe, we'll go with Joe. I don't know. This is a hard one. <laughs> um, usually pretty reserved kind of guy. So it's, it, it's tough. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have one. <laughs> no, you don't oh, have sure. a bad, bad VV flip you did or something. It's got to oh. be something. Everybody's uh, done something bad on VV. That's true. Yeah, but like I get old man. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. The the most recent one was when I bought my my Captain America yesterday for sixty five, and then I saw him at thirty nine, and I was like, "What's going on here?" Yeah. So I had to buy more. But it's not a, it's not a major, right? Like, there's nothing embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Rob. You got something? Well, first of all, I embarrass myself every day. All I have to do is just talk. <laughs> He'll make up for me. Talk, and I'll uh, and I'll embarrass myself. Just like today in our video, when he told me at the end of the video, I kept calling them the Mighty Marvel. He's like, "Man, it was the Marvel Mighties." I said, <laughs> "Whoops, whatever." I flipped it. It is what it is. So, I don't know. In terms of something that's embarrassing, like I remember so many times being embarrassed, but you almost kind of like you force yourself to forget it you know what i mean <laughs> so when you ask me this question without me sitting there and thinking about it it's hard for me to bring uh, up anything. i got one i got one when i was yeah. when i was younger my parents have it on film this is why i remember this now i was learning how to swim and we were doing um we we're doing like the diving board the first time ever terrified of water like at this age this is like <laughs> nine years old okay i'm standing on the edge of the diving board and the lady who's like teaching me how to swim i'm like no i'm not doing it i'm not doing it i'm like waving my hands flailing like this and the girl tosses me into the freaking water. Oh. <laughs> they, they just say, throw him in and he'll learn, right? So <laughs> anytime we pull that video up at my parents' house, that's the most embarrassing moment. <laughs> oh, it's a video. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, VHS. Oh, <laughs> um, Thank God they went out of town. Yeah, right? Once they start, once they break, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that's, yeah, a good, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have tattoos or not, but if you're going to get a tattoo <clears throat> or another one, what would it be? I don't have, I don't one. have one. Yeah, I don't have one. Um, wasn't planning on getting one, but if I did, it would have to be something like very close to home because I'm someone who who kind of gets over style really quickly. So it would be it wouldn't be like something floral or something artwork wise because I think I would kind of grow out of it. It would need to be like my birth date or or something like that that is engraved on me that means something deep down that I'll never I'll never your, forget your about. Your child's uh, birthday or something. Yeah, like something like that. Like maybe like a date or something like that. Okay. What would you rob? I think if I had to do it, I would want to make it super artistic. So it ha it I would if I were to get a tattoo, it wouldn't just be a little one. I'd want it to be a work of art maybe a you know full sleeve or something like that and it's just filled with things that just represent something else i mean like you might look like a, a lion but really it's touching base on you know the the fact that um it, like my like the strength of of let's say my my mother or something i just yeah threw that out there as a random thing but that's what i would do love it love it all right so if you guys had three wishes i'm gonna start with rob what would they be three wishes okay so Wish number one, that uh, all of my investments come to fruition. <laughs> and and I mean, go. Okay, so that's VV's in there. VV's in there. So hopefully that's wish number one. Uh, wish number two would be that everyone close to me can live uh, a healthy, happy life. Um, and then uh, wish number three would be that um, I would gain some kind of, you know, different skill or, or or power that can help uh that can help others and it's touching back on the previous thing that we talked before right right deep i love it i love it all right joe you're up. okay uh i guess first one would be owe me to the moon because <laughs> this is my only oh, crystal let's go make it happen <laughs> owe me to the you moon have to that, in. You have um, to that, in. that that takes care of me financially um i guess second thing is like some some kind of peace in this world like that. I need to, I need to think outside of myself for one of the wishes. And I think this world needs a lot more peace and love. So like, we need to have more happiness and more people like this getting together and just being able, like we never met you guys before and you guys are great dudes. And it's, if you walk out on the street and you go talk to somebody, they look at you like, why are you looking at me? Right? Like right. if it was different where I can go and walk up to someone and be like, Hey, I like your hat. Like, it'll be like, Oh, thank, thanks man. Like if it was more, I feel like it's kind of drawn the other way right now. So definitely 
pr like put that in back into the world, whatever it is, where you can walk outside. I think it takes stress away from a lot of people, save a lot of people and uh, make a world a better place. And I think that's important. And third wish, I guess uh, it might be, uh, I don't know. Third, the first, the first two are always easiest. This is the last yeah, one. For, but, uh... Home to the moon, <laughs> happiness for everybody. And, Fourth wish. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go with a successful youtube channel just booted from yeah from uh, yeah. from this interview <laughs> so that, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of look link in the description I'm, I'm sorry not the description it will be in the description once the live is over but right now it's pinned in the chat superstar money right there go subscribe support vv fam two cool cats for sure uh, representing Toronto. I love it. And uh, just it's been a fantastic interview. I love it. I just have one question, one last question each. And it's uh, what is something that is surprising uh, about yourself that we haven't discussed that, you know, your typical viewer may not know about you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go with Rob first. Something surprising about yourself. These are tough questions. I've never had to really think about these before. Um, listen, I'm a really boring guy. Okay. Uh, Dude, I, I, have, me, I have nothing surprising about me. Uh, I, uh, I don't you're know. Not, like, bro, I, you're not boring. I, I don't know. This interview is fantastic. Know. So it's been, it's been I don't great. Know. Something surprising. I don't know. I don't know what would be surprising. How, how is this? I, uh, I, I, I like comic books now. That would be surprising to anyone who knows me. They would <laughs> yeah, be like, what go. are you talking about? What, what's going on? So anyone who knows me is going to be like, I can't believe you're, you know comic books. So I, I don't know, man. That's, I'm going to have to go with that for now. No, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Hey, man, you're, you're into comic books now, you know, yeah. and I'm sure you're, the people you know in real life are probably like, man, what, what the heck is this, man? Comic yep. books now? You're like a grown man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. What about you, Joe? So um, I guess the, the one thing that maybe a lot of people don't know because I don't plug it on uh, on our channel and I'm not going to plug it here, but I do have another YouTube channel with like 16,000 subscribers where I review like random singing and random groups like worldwide. So like there's like <laughs> stuff from Asia, stuff from from uh, England, like all random different artists. And it actually has a following and I got kind of cornered into it just because those were the videos performing i started doing a channel just random things and those ones started going off and i got into a really big 